Good greetings, one and all. Rusty Dog here, and welcome to the Talos Principal, number two, part two. Uh, yeah, so we are back here again, going to do some more puzzles. Um, so I enjoyed the, the first uh, round that we did, where we did like 16 puzzles to begin with. <clears throat> and yeah, there was two batches of eight, and we did both of those, so uh, that was cool. And I want, I'm looking forward to doing some more. I'm expecting things to get even more challenging, even more complex. Uh, so yeah, okay. So uh, give me a sec, guys, because. Just need to get a message out. There we go. Right. Boom. Done. Okay. I guess we should get started. Oh. We can have two more games going on. That's cool. Right, so we're 17% done on those, but we keep missing these out. We've got to go back and do some of these. Maybe we'll take a look at one of them. I guess it means going, or maybe we can do it. Let's see where we are. Let's see where we are. Right, I have my tea. Which means I'm in good shape. I do have this on a HDD, not on SSD, so um, it's going to be a bit, a little bit slower. It doesn't seem to affect uh, gameplay as you're playing, so that's fine. Right, so... We activated this tower, that was the last thing we did, but did we? No, it's here. Right, so you see like we've got these two here and we've got one. Oh, where did that come from? Rusty thanks you Anonymous for your kind donation of £25, a little stream motivation and a thank you. Oh, Very nice, thank you. Anonymous. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, very cool, thank you. I got my volume down a little bit, so I... I, I, uh, that was, I was, it was, a, it was half a jump. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, so we've got one question mark on the hood, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Are those some of the other worlds? So we've got a big one here. Bigger one. So do I follow that to get to these triangles? Let's see if I can follow. Mm, that's probably not a good idea. I just want to see where it's going to take me and how I'm going to get there. Oh, it can't be. Well, what, the only thing that's here is here. There's this thing. Oh, maybe that's what this is. Okay. It's telling me where the, where the thing is. And then we've got this. Okay, cool. That's what that question so, mark was. What are you doing here, Trevor? Why are you trying to save the world? Well, look, I think I'm gonna run to this other one. Awesome. I love humanity. As a species, we're great. I mean, our track record is pretty mixed, but have you seen everyone else? I mean, what did you do today, animal? Oh, I ate some leaves, sniffed my own butt, crapped myself, and went extinct. Or, you know, I tore this other animal limb from limb, sniffed my friend's butt, 
crap myself. Oh, no hood in here. Okay. They really don't do anything interesting. I mean, you don't see animals directing Big Trouble in Little China. Birds can go, tweet, tweet. But it ain't exactly the White Album. I mean, they can't even make a good cheeseburger, for Christ's sakes. They have no art, no cuisine, no pleasure. Animals are nice to look at, but you wouldn't want to be one. Except maybe a cat. I could be a cat. Uh, is this, is this it? Is this a numbered puzzle or is it a, a, an extra one? Yeah, no, it's a numbered one. So where's this question mark taking me? I think it's just coincidental that we have a little explosion sign on there. Oh, God, let's not go that way then. further down here. I'm just wondering whether the... Oh, they seem to be, yes. The... They seem to be getting... There's, there you go. They seem to be getting bigger, the uh, question marks as you get to them. Right, so this is one of... This is the first one of these we've done, we've found. Okay. So a separate puzzle then. It's strange that some of these puzzles seem disconnected from the rest. Oh. Like it's all unfinished. And also, we need we, we didn't do any of these in the previous sector. So we might have to, we can go back and do them, which is good. But I, I, East 1 it was called, I think. So we have a drillable wall there, connector, and a drill. Can't bring them in with me because you can't. But there are ways. Red power source. Uh, I need a jammer then for that, don't I? Oh, jeez. Okay, I don't even know where to start. Um. Right. Let's see what we can see when we drill through the wall. Oops, I went too far. So it's all about keeping connections. So through here, obviously, the only thing worth note noting is the red power source. Oh. And the thing it has to connect to is there. And we can't drill both and we can't put this up high. Right, so... Right, uh, I got what you. I got what you're saying. So we can connect this to this, but to do that we need a connector. We can't get that one because it's behind a force field, and there's nothing we can drop the force field with. So I'm guessing that that has to stay up. So that leaves this guy. And if we could get it in here, it'd be pointless because. Well, well, I can't go in there because of the force field. Keeping connections. If there was a way to pull that connector through the through a hole here, 
I think we could sort something out. Yep. So, first thing I want to do is drill as close to this corner as possible. And then put this connector in here. So it, that's, just, that's the only place. That's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough. I can't. So you would connect from there to there, and then that connects diagonally well. Although. Yeah, it can maintain a connection even after you've made it, right? Right. So... It's just about positioning. If that connector has line of sight to this one right now, then we're good. We can sort it. Okay. Alright. So, let's grab it bring it out here and we'll just establish the connection to there and place it on the ground okay so that connection is now established fine now we take it and then we go to Oh, how do we do both? That's a good question. Yeah. Can we add an... We can't. If I keep that connection, can I now add another one? I can! Cool. That's all I wanted. So now this... This is connected to the power source and that far connector. I believe that's all we need to do. And then all I need all I have to do now is find a way to get line of sight to the other connector on the other side. No 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 we wait wait wait. We have to go into here. We have line of sight. Oh, why not? Why not? See, oh, but then how do we, how do we pick that up to create the connection to th there? Do I need to? No. Well, yeah, because I can't get line of sight from the connector straight to the rosette, as I've been calling it. So, assuming the beam was going through that wall, and connecting to here. We'd still need to make the connection to there. I can't pick it up because I can't go through the wall. I don't have anything to unjam the, the force field. Right? I haven't missed out anything, have I? I wouldn't be surprised if they'd hidden something. And then how the f... What? Are these like... just... <laughs> are these ones incomplete or seemingly incomplete because they're near impossible as they are? Come on Rusty, think, think, think. And there's a barrier here, 
So it's not like we can take them outside. Keeping connections. I think once we connect this, it drops the force field and that will give us this connector to take with us. But the beam doesn't go through here, right? So we have, with this force field down, we have to keep the connection from here. That, that's not a connection though. And there's no way you're keeping a connection from there to there. For here, to get a beam to it, you're going to have to have a connector in this area. Coming from, let's say, that connector. But it won't send a beam through a purple wall. Right? You can't, right? Um, I might have to come back to this one some other time. Pretty sure we cannot connect that's for a disconnect, right? Oh, you can send a beam through a purple. Oh. I didn't know that. That's changed a few things then. Cool. Um. <laughs> Whoa, how do I power that then? By... Might, even if there was a hole drilled in that wall. It would break. Ah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it wouldn't. I, line of sight between that and there. Okay. Okay, 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 let's see. Do we have to go further or here yeah, further, right? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think we have to make another connection. Okay. Okay, cool. Right. The drill can't go through its own hole, it can't go through here, so it stays here. Right, that gives us this guy, which we don't need. Okay, cool, right. That can go to... Oh, it says keep connections. Hey, gain damage! It said keep connections, didn't it? Okay, well this bit's easy though. This part's easy. So, yeah. Okay, I just have to put you there. If it's, if it's the way it is in my head, this bit's easy. I don't need to keep connection with that thing anymore, but maybe you do. So, so I will. All right, so now this has to have line of sight to there. Uh, 
and connect. Is that enough? That's going to be tight. All right, if we drill a hole through the other wall now. I don't think we need connection with that other, that other one. Okay, so then we go to here and we add that and drop. Cool. You had me going there, you had me going. It is quiet, I know. Oh, I'm surprised. But it's okay. Tricky, but not impossible. So we have another question mark. There. And there. Well, which one are we going for first? Only one of them is going to be one of those triangles. And it looks to me that if we get closer, it, the, tri uh, the question mark gets bigger. So I think one of them's up here. And the question mark's getting bigger. All right, looks like it might be there then. Is it this thing? No, that's a arm thing. So that means the other question mark is the thing. Yeah, we didn't do any of these little things. Hey, Sepilok, hello, 07. Lufthansa. No. Andy K, hey, matey. Greetings, sir. While exploring the forest, I came across a site of primal force. Let's go to the other one. A beautiful stag, standing on a hill silhouetted against the setting sun. It appeared like a messenger from some divine natural power, perhaps from Gaia herself. Oh, well, there's two question marks. Even to a being such as myself, less susceptible to manipulation by instincts and hormones, it was clearly a moment of revelation. In such moments, we are told to avert our eyes. But what if we do not? What will we discover if we look more closely? If we could speak to the stag, what wisdom would it have to offer? The answer is none. The stag is an animal of overwhelming stupidity, driven only by fear, hunger, and lust. There like is me. no abyss for us to plunge into behind this revelation. Rather, the revelation is as flat and unreal I, as I was about to say that to you, gain, get, gain damage. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was thinking of you when it came on. I thought, he's going to say something. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, how come? How come? You, well, I don't know. I, I don't live in Germany anymore but how come you exported one of your best comedians to the uk you should go and ask for him back <laughs> anyway yeah um so that leaves this one question mark which has to be the other thing have you done these ones andy the the, the triangle ones Because the one I just did was obviously the first one that I'd, I'd ever done. Can I go around that way? It's a bit shorter. All right, I just want to confirm it's a triangle level. It looks like... Oh no! No, it's not. Or is it? That looks like one that we've been... into loop no okay 
Nope. This is new. Let me just have a look on the board. Ah, we haven't done it. Okay. Was there another question mark, though? Or was I seeing things? Ah, uh, not all of them. Okay. I was just wondering how different they were. I mean, that other one that we just did was... Well, obviously, at the beginning it appeared a little bit impossible, but it really wasn't. So we've got to get the drill in there, right? Jesus. What? Oh, right. It can't be for me. Oh, I see what it's going to do. It's the cube, isn't it? It's the cube. The cube goes on there. The fan goes on. It blows the cube through this wall, which will already be pre-drilled. And it will keep blowing it far enough so we can pick it up on the other side when we drill that wall. Right, okay, understood. But do we use up the cube now? Or... Because that's the... Yeah, because the cube won't pass through here, so we can get the cube here. The other one is already here, waiting to go on, and that will open that one. So, basically, it's just get the other cube... Let's just get the other cube on this side. That's it? This is all you ask of me? So what's this for? What's that wall for? Well, for now... Oh. Oh. No, you can't pass the cube back the other way. All right. Can I just bore you a moment? But but I can see it there. Why do I need it here? But we can't do... We can't do two connections at the same time. And if I take this off... It's not making sense. If I lift that off, force field closes. We still keep the connection, but the beam doesn't go through a force field, right? I don't think so. So, the only way to restore the beam is to stand on there. But, Oh, wait a moment. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Okay. One cube. So there isn't a second cube. What was I talking about before then? So we don't bring the cube through here, we bring the connector through here. Alright. 
For a second there, I thought there was two two uh, cubes, but there wasn't. What needs to go on that pad? A drill can't go through its own hole, right? So even if we did drill a hole and push it, we, we can't bring the drill through. So the connector has to be here. The connector has to end up on there to open that force field. Which means that the connector's got to go in here while this force field is open. How do you plan to do that? And now I'm starting to think that that fan, although I don't know, maybe it does have the force to do it, to send that unit, okay, all right. The new FSD, I don't think it... Oh, hi, Metaparcel, hello. And Mark Shaw, hey, Mark, sorry, didn't spot you there. Um, he made a good choice by leaving this country. What, Henning Vane? Okay, I don't know about him then. I know he's... I find him very funny. I think he's got a really sharp sense of humour. Um... Hopefully nothing bad though. Yeah, the new FST. It's at, in its for me. If I had to summarize it quick, I would just say that in its current state, it's not very practical, is it? It doesn't have any practical use. I can't see me using it long term on anything, and rarely, if at all. So. Laser beams don't go through force fields, but I don't need this to be here to establish a connection though. This is the thing. This doesn't need to be here. I can do it through here. Just plonk it down there and bingo. But this is the problem because if I drilled a hole through here, oh, this isn't making any sense. Oh yeah, yeah, I can drill a hole through this wall oh, from, he from here. I don't need to have the drill on the other side. Oh God, I do. Here, here. I just had it there. Right, so I can, I can do that that way and pick it up there. I don't suppose that fan blows the other way and sucks the cube through, does it? But how? Huh? Okay. I'm, I'm understanding something now, but what a convoluted way of doing it. Okay. All right, let's give it a go. So this goes here, right? And then we pick this up, keeping the connection. And that can go... there I need to, all I need is a hole in the wall right now that's it thank you all right so now we go here and we get the cube 
We put the cube on the other side of the wall. Okay. And we can bring the cube out. Okay. That's stage one. But we need this thing later. So we can't lose lose it or lose track of it. Right, so that was the only reason why we needed that connection. So now we can move this to here. Re-establish the connection. And open that. But... Oh, it's not about him at all. Ah, okay, I'll go. Oh, I see. I understand gain damage. Hey, Majok! Just back after trip out in the black on horizons. Cool. Did you go anywhere interesting? Yeah, awesome. It's always nice to get back, though. It's nice to do the exploration, but it's always nice to get back, isn't it? There'd be no point now pushing. We need the drill. Let's just do this one bit at a time. I know I need the drill. And I know I need to punch an exact hole. There. Be better if you weren't in the way though. Oh, it can go on the... Of course! Of course it can! The drill can power the fan and do the hole. Duh. But wait a minute though, if I pick this up... Ah, nuts. What? 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 We can't... Right. Assuming we're going to send something down this corridor, it can't be the drill, because the drill cannot go through its own hole. The cube... It's going to be the cube and the connector that we send back through. But, how the hell do I get the, the connector in this room? Oh, I'm stuck. Get out of it. Got line of sight, but it won't work. It won't go through those railings. And even if we did bring the connector in here, it would close the force field and I'd be trapped in here. So that can't be the way. What's the point? What's the point of sending the cube back? The cube would come out here what would be the point yeah it's a, it is a little bit portally um, this one's a good one because we've only got one connector all right, so the cube's not being used right now. So let's take it and open that force field. How does that help? Because we still need... We would still need the drill to point to that, which I don't think we've got line of sight from here. Definitely not.
what the f right just all right i i need to test this guys i want to see if my theory's currently working So, we establish a hole, and as soon as I drop this, it should blow that cube all the way to the other side, theoretically. Alright, and then we take the drill, and we put a hole there, but to what end? What the hell's the point? All we've done is got the cube back, right? Cool, brilliant, excellent, but I need to do exactly the same thing with this guy. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. In. I don't need to do exactly the same thing with that guy, do I? No, I do not. Come here, you. Stay there. I don't know why I'm sounding confident. I shouldn't be, because I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Do, do the hole in the wall thing. Oh, we need the cube again. But if I send the cube through... No. If I send the connector through first... to put this behind the wall yeah of course you can you can you can you silly ass so the drill goes here no you still can't <laughs> unless that fan does not detach does it if I had the cube now I could put the cube on there. Put the cube on there, send the connector through to the other side. Get the drill back, then I've got the drill in the cube. But with the drill in the cube, yeah, okay, that's it. All right, I've got it. I've got it in my head. Yes, yes, I've got it. Don't lose train of thought now, Rusty. So, connector comes through first, guys. That's the thing. That's the key thing. Connector goes through first, cube last. So, we get the cube, and let's get the drill back. Uh, connector goes through first. Yeah, so put the drill back where, where you had it. Connector's going through first, so the drill can stay out here. Just to be safe, take the connector, drop it. Pick up the cube, drop it, take the connector, take it to the other side, because we won't need it. He says, pick up the cube. Take it to there, pick up the drill, and drop it there too. Take the connector because we can get land. We it, it works through. It works through uh, thingy through the purple. So we can now open that. Cube goes on there. This goes. Oh, what are you doing? Cube goes on the blaster. There you go. And that goes. Oh, you're not supposed to turn on. Did I stand on it? Yes, I must have done. Looking at the solution to this one, I'm a bit disappointed because I should have figured it out about 10 minutes ago. Let's 
go. Thank you. And now we've got the connector on this side and we'll soon have the cube on that side. That's it. Done. Cube on the pad, thingy on the pad, and we're in. I should have had that done ten minutes ago. Frank! Yeah, brain noodling. <laughs> One case yep. solved all the puzzles in this area, but nothing happened. There was a brief blip in the system, though. Maybe it'll do something later. There has to be some sort of point. Now, guys, question. Before we move to East 3, or whatever the hell it's going to be called, because we've got one more tower to do, right? Should we go and do the triangle levels at the, on East 1 first? We've unlocked everything on this level. Should we go back to East 1 and do the triangle levels first, just so that we know that they are complete and done? But there's also... Oh, wait a minute. The only way to travel is via the bike thing, right? Do we have the map that we have when we go to the menu? Is that referring to the number, to the puzzle numbers? Puzzles two, four. Ah, here. Yeah, this is what I wanted, the map. So, we've... D I don't know what this was. Lost Labs, yeah, okay. So there's a Lost Labs here and two triangles, but we haven't done that one yet. East one. So how do we get there? Do we have to take the train? So that, okay, so like on this one, we've got eight main puzzles done, two lost puzzles, a gold puzzle. Now, this is intriguing, because is the gold puzzle the one behind those gates? And if so, how the hell do you open them? Right, I want to travel back to East 1. So if we can head towards the transport, then maybe we can do it from there. Um, I can't remember. Is it that we get into the, the bike thing and then... So I'm just looking at that chemical thing. Do we get into the bike thing and then it tells us... Um, it asks us which way we can go. See, this is the gates thing. It's, it's up here. Or is that the exit that's up here? I don't know. Is there another guide thing? Well, it's got to be this way. I'm expecting one of the big snowrunner trucks to come around the corner any time. Okay, we've got another guide thing here. So, gate down. But, what it leads, how you open it and where it leads, I do not know. Right, there it is. Oh, this one's lit up. 2478. Another set of golden gates. These must be connected to the ones near the megastructure. There was a harder set of puzzles in the simulation, right? And maybe they're like that. I know 1K is probably like, Yay, harder puzzles! But to me, that sounds like error code 704. No thanks. The missing puzzles open the gate. The ones you have done a symbol. Yes, we've done two and the two light on the door. 
but by that token then do all the golden gates on every level all lead to the same thing because there's enough dots here where I've got to complete the entire game before these gates unlock and if we come if we do all the ring on the map though so for example but oh, wait a minute though yeah okay doesn't match up forget it so if we do two four six assuming eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four I've got the boss count now. Two for six. So six, 24, right? So 24 lost puzzles all in all, plus whatever these are. And we got one. Yeah, there's 24 dots. But then what? Do we then have to come back and do all the, the Golden Gate puzzles on every single level? This is not currently, we can't in interact with this in any way, right? This looks like we have to do the whole, the whole game to light each one of these up. And if I go back to East One now and go to the Golden Gates of East One, Will they all? Will they also have the two lights lit up? They, they have to have. Otherwise, the logic doesn't work. All right, let's go. Let's go to the transport. If I can find the, the thing, maybe stick to the path. Eh? Right, I just lost it. to the ring. Alright. Right. So, we can now go back to East 1. Have a look at the golden golden gates, I keep wanting to say. We want to see if we can do these these puzzles. So let's go back there. Do those two, and then we'll get to East Three. In fact, we'll take a look at all the question marks on the on the hood, because that would un uncover that uh, lost lab as well. I think because we did find one on the previous level, but not this one. Okay. So we come down to the first set of numbers on the guide. I don't know what you would call it, this thing. Right, so the gate is that way. I'm curious to see whether the, uh, the two lights are on it. I would, I'm going to say that they are, yep. I'm hoping. So I think the gate thing is... It was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, I see him. I see him. Yeah, it didn't make sense. If, if these weren't lit up, it wouldn't have made sense to me. So we can't access the gates until we've done the whole or at least all of the unknown puzzles. Okay, so that tells me another thing, that we need to do the unknown ones. <coughs> so let's forage all these question marks and see 
what's what. Some of them will be un unknown puzzles, uh, two of them will be unknown puzzles actually. And uh, another one won't. There it is. Okay, so here's one of them. Is this kind of a help system? Because I haven't actually used it yet. And it will be an ultimate last resort. RGBs! I remember you. <coughs> I love, I like RGBs. They're good. Uh, right, where's the... There's the goal. Right, so, mm, yeah, I'm guessing then that we need to... Alright, unlock the blue, which we've already established we can do through the purple. <clears throat> okay, so that opens this so we can pick up Mr. RGB. So we got him. So I don't need to connect blue for now. I'll keep the connection just in case we need it because we've got a blue and a red here which is going to make a green. But do we have a green rosette somewhere? Got a green power source. That noise, wait, wait, that. That's what I sometimes hear in my ears when my heart's beating. Anyway. Interesting. Um, well, that's going to be complicated because well, how the hell you do that with just one connector? We can't get a direct blue beam to here, right? What we need is this dude to output a blue beam. And he can do that from these two power sources. But to do that, this gate needs to be open. And to do that, this freaking connector... needs to be connected there's nothing else that can keep this gate open right well okay all right in that case the only way to do it is to create another blue beam. Oh, it's already closed it. Oh! Okay. Disconnect. Stay there, out, out of trouble. Okay, got you. Come here. Right, I want you, Mr. Connector, to stay exactly where you are, only if you don't mind. Could you mind just going on top there? I didn't keep the connections like an idiot. 
Okay, you still got the connections? Awesome. Now, if you don't mind, just going back to where I put you before. Oh, you lost the connections as well. How did you do that? Why are we still... Okay, reposition. Thank you. Right, so now I can disconnect this and keep it and still keep that door open. And this is outputting a blue beam. <laughs> You've got to get up early in the morning to fill me in there, yes. Get her. Right. Loading. Hi, loading. This is the Talos Principle 2. We streamed the original one, the Talos Principle, uh, quite a while back. It should be on my channel content. Uh, we didn't finish it, though. Didn't go all the way on that one. Um, but now we're working on to 2. My intention is to complete the entire game. All being well. Clever. As long as you establish another beam, two beams into one output, you can break the first one, it'll still keep the door open. Of course it does. Let's go. We had to do that once before. Right, next question. <laughs> if anyone can tell me which YouTuber says that on a live stream. You win a million credits. Next question. I think the guy's got like three million subs. So he's he's pretty big. I, I, I can comfortably say the largest car related channel on YouTube. Comfortably. Three million? Yeah. Uh... I don't... What's going to be out here? And every time he's live streaming, he gets... He does Q&A. People asking about problems on their cars and stuff. And of course, there's like thousands of questions coming in and he can only answer like 10 of them or something. So lots of disappointed people. But every time he he's done one, he moves on to the... Next question. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, Ooh, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man? He moved of his own volition. He spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If then a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, I'm then lost. does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics. Yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Lots of talk about man. Nothing so much about the women. Unless, of course, they are referring to mankind. Am I just getting very suitably lost here? Oh, okay. I 
I've got a feeling that the question mark that I was looking at just before is over there. I had an I had an urge there just to bring out a sniper rifle that I didn't have. Don't get wrong footed here, Rusty, if you're not gonna stop. There you go. How on earth? I don't think you can. Mm. Okay. How on earth do you get over there? There's no like over over overhead. Is that what I'm looking for? There's no overhead map as such. So, in the meantime, we've got a question mark here. Actually, we've got three. One of them's coming in on the left there quite quickly. There it is. I think doing those is going to all count towards the, the final game. The pleasure of being hey, Zonta. The to step foot here in hundreds Hold of on. years. It is a genuine pleasure. They do talk and a yet, lot. It is also banal. My presence here is of no more significance than that of every other animal. These rocks do not care who walks here, and the millennia between the presence of our ancestors and my brief journey are nothing to them. But even putting it this way is wrong. It is not that the rocks do not care. It is that in some sense, they do not exist. I may stand in awe of the cliffs on the southern coast, but the cliffs cannot look back at me with contempt. They cannot do anything at all. Um, yeah, not doing not not doing so bad today, Zonta. Thanks. Um, not quite sure why, but feeling a bit better today than I have. Yesterday I was back at the doctor's again. But it seems all okay. We will see. It's a lottery ticket. Whenever you wish you had a map. Oh, here we go. We found the other level. Oh, is this the one we just done? Because <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. It's right there. And there's two to open. Okay. Ah. Uh, I'm going to need more than one of these things then, right? Oh, no, I don't. No. Nope. Unless I've got line of sight to another. And... I... I need line of sight to a green or a blue. Well, not line of sight. I do with a, con with a connector, I do. Let's have a look. You can just open this door for me a second. I can have a look inside. That's just wonderful. Oh, look where the blue is. Oh, well, that's just frickin' dandy. Huh? Right, okay. So... Hmm. So we've got a blue emitter, blue power source, or a blue emitter, whatever you want to call it, right there. 
We don't have a green one. You can do your job just as well sitting on that pad. So you just opened that door for me, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Now, because I can now go through all the way around, ooh, there's absolutely zero requirement for that red and blue make green okay fine red and blue make green but this now needs oh well okay Yeah, just need to bring that through then. Okay. Just need to bring it through. Yeah, that's it. Just need to bring this through. So I don't need I don't need the blue power output at all. So good night. I need the blue power output. I need this. Oh dear. It's not as simple as I thought then. Because now... Oh, I see. I made a little foobar there. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Not going to make a lot of sense, but okay. Why do I need the blue input, though? I don't, do I? And I can't place... Ah! No. Nope. Yes. These have to be swapped. These have to be swapped. The RGB goes over there, the connector comes here. Right? No, no, because the RGB needs two power inputs. Yeah, but... That goes over there, you have an input from here to there. Yeah, you can make multiple connections, Rusty. Right, disconnect. Okay. So, I think we need... This has... Oh, frick, it's not going to be in position. It's not going to be in position. We can't go through, through the fence. We need two beams. So both items have to be here, on this side. And that gate has to be open. Doesn't it? Yes, because this needs both power sources. 
How do you achieve all of those things? I was thinking that this would go over there. You would have blue output from this. Where was I going to? Where was I thinking of getting the red from? From the from the connector instead of the power source. If I get the if I get the blue connect, blue power from the connector instead of the then I can not that it makes a difference but then this has to now beam to that one and I can move this out but if the force field closes I'm screwed. Oh, oh, I forgot about those. I was, it's impossible. I, I forgot about those guys. All right. Completely forgot about the existence of those guys. Are oh, you going to be joking? All right. We have to do we have to restart all again then. Or do we? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay. Right. First thing, pick that up and drop it here. Right. Go bring the connector around. No, no, no. <laughs> I know what I want to do. I just can't get it. Uh, right. Oh, we can do it with the green. Yeah, we can do it with the green. Okay. So, blah, blah, and blah. Cool. And then we get this. And we add that and place it back on here. What? Oh, got to reconnect to that again for some reason. Right now we can now we can make some progress here. Do you need both? I don't know. Do we need both? I don't think so. I'll name that tuning one. Okay, so I'm going to go blue to blue. You. I don't think I need you, but just stay there just in case. Okay. Red. And blue. Oh, I see. Make green. But there's that. So I do need it. Yeah, so you can do it with those if you if the beams didn't clash. But they do, which means we have to go all the way around. So this thing has to stay where it, uh, well, does it has to do what it's doing only it has to do it while it's on here, but then, yeah, we still have line of sight with the blue. Awesome. All right. Uh, don't need those connections anymore, so you can come here. And sit here. And we just need... Oh, put yourself down. There you go. And then you need to come over here. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. So we can do it via the power source or the thing. I'll go power source to connector. All right. Oh, put it down. 
and then on this one we'll just go connector to blue cool and now all we need to do is reopen that force field and I can get through still yeah yeah so take the connector go blue to blue and that opens that door Thank you. Ooh. yeah so now we have to walk through uh, oh sugar of course we need both okay we can do that with cheese on. That had me on the run around, didn't it? Bloody hell. Right. So we've got... Okay, hold on. Let me just run away. We've got one triangle... Oh, by the way, the the YouTuber guy, the Motrin guy, was Scotty Kilmer. Next question. Is that it? Are we done for question marks? Looks like it, eh? So if I go to here, check out the map. The Lost Lab. Is that just something we have to find by chance? Okay. SCO5. Never heard of him. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's famous. Like I said, he's got three million subs, the guy, you know. He knows his stuff. He's, he's getting on in years now, but he, he knows, he knows his stuff, definitely. He's, he's very, uh, he's very clued up. On, on things and he is a big advocate for uh, Toyota <laughs> due to its due to their reliability which is fair enough can't, arg can't argue it with him Toyota and Lexus are, are, are and have proved to be the most reliable Okay, so that we got four lights up now. Where's this lab? Because we we just came across the other one, but clearly it was pure luck. No, we have two question marks, guys. That were so we were, must have been so far away from them before. They were so small. So one is east and one is not. One is northeast ish. But one of them is also a place I tried to get to already and I couldn't. If we head in between two, it looks like the one on the left's getting bigger. Just go this way. Go rogue. Oh, we can't. Can we? It's getting bigger, it's getting bigger. I'm just looking for doorways or any sorts of thing. It's getting bigger, it's getting bigger. 
Lost lab, guys, isn't it? Yeah. Half life. Oh, anyway. It looks so different in here. Oh, look, one case found another lab. Wow. There's more of these labs than I expected. If you find another terminal, please be careful when you connect. Oh, they give me a buzz. Oh, Jesus, that frickin' made me jump. He is a Toyota fanatic, yeah. Rightly so, though, you know, as I said, can't can't argue with him. You know, he says it's the most reliable and he ain't wrong. Because it, it, they are. So if you want a reliable car, get a Toyota. If you want reliable and a little bit of luxury, grab a Lexus. That's it. <laughs> End of story. I think he prefers the older ones, though. I don't know. I think the new, even the newer Toyotas are using cheap plastic parts. This is the same principle, isn't it? You've got that driller thing, drilling a hole. Oh, we're in Sector 1. This was showing me what's to come in Sector 2. Because we didn't have drills in, in East 1. So did whatever the device was in East 2 show me what was coming in East 3? Well, I guess we're going to find out for ourselves. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? Yeah, they always they always come top on the reliability charts, don't they? Honda as well. I've had four Hondas and I can attest to it. You know, they they are supremely reliable. And Hondas can take a beating as well. Well, at least the ones I have did. And I know because I beat them. <laughs> I drove them hard. Yeah, if the running is super fast because we're not... We're a machine. With odd socks on, by the looks of it. Yeah, no, we're not. Uh, yeah, we're a machine and... Uh, we don't get out... We don't get out of breath. So what's this thing? It's got to be another hand scanner thing. It's that, isn't it? And women, women in ponds, blood distributing swords isn't the basis for a system of government. So these monuments represent each of the entities. Pandora, the Sphinx, and Prometheus. Makes sense, I guess. For a given value what the hell? of sense. Find my sprite. Are you sure it's not Fanta? And follow it until it leads you back to me. Right, let's look for a tin of sprite. Don't think there will be any. Right, let's get to the car. Can we go shortcutting? I wouldn't advise it probably. Looks like we can we are able to walk on water. Well, unless it just never gets deep. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, well, worth a look. So my car ride is there. That's a long walk. I like these. I like those. They look like some kind of weird chess piece. But I like them. They look good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
we have to be able to keep going that way because we're not quite oh okay I think I know where I am and I think it's this way we need to get centralized with the tower there and then we turn around and there we go cool Suzuki yeah no or Nissan these days because I think Nissan is uh, isn't it mostly owned or owned by Renault now so yeah Honda Toyota if you want the good ones right East 3. How do we do here the same? That's the same. That's all we can do. We can't do the gates by the looks of things. So, And it looks like they all do open After separate. After Wonke found those labs, I started thinking, where did all the tech come from? So I had a look at the serial numbers, and it turns out the answer is New Alexandria. Oh. Yeah, most Japanese are, actually. Uh, it's I, true. I guess that makes sense. After the explosion, the colony was abandoned. Nobody ever went back but, to all that stuff. But, but, there's a but. We had enough to deal with. So many dead. So that's one question answered. But how did they go from scavenged Alexandria tech to all this? How did we... Oh, the footfalls in the biology, yeah. Good money, Zonta. Through the application of reason and the right tools. I was really looking forward to doing flight sim today, to be honest. I really want to fly a plane. What the hell is this thing? Hi, Jack. <laughs> Whoa. You'll find that no matter which... Look at the size of that structure. How does the material support so much weight? Is it the same stuff as the other buildings? Yeah. I know it looks like some type of concrete, but the molecular structure is completely different. Whatever it is, it's a lot stronger and less brittle. Are the labs made out of the same material? No, that's just ordinary concrete. Although, it does have some molecular weirdness going on, too. Too little variation in the grain. Yeah, so anyway, just to get on to finish the topic. Um, most car companies, if not all, all car companies are uh, saving money by using uh, plastic, plastic parts instead of metal ones now. And they don't, they don't survive the heat cycles as well. So they're all cheaping out these uh, companies. And even Toyota are doing it, but Toyota's quality control is better than most. I've been meaning to talk to which you. Which is why you get your reliability this, uh, from. Vision you had, the data stream overload. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? It was wonderful. Hmm. Having your consciousness hijacked felt good to you? Just don't take this too lightly, okay? We're sturdier than our ancestors, but a mind is still a fragile thing. Do I want to ask? Go ahead. I have no idea. Well, puzzles or uh, trials, as Elohim calls them, were used as part of the process that created the Founder, and they're still part of how we're born. They symbolize the human ability to understand the world and solve problems. Right. But nowadays, they don't have a practical application. Mm -hmm. They are a common motif in the arts, though. Mm. The only physically existing puzzles I can think of are in the Museum of the Simulation. So, to answer your question, no idea. Then just say that in the first place. Right. Uh, OK. 
okay, we can't build the bridges because we need to do the puzzles. Uno, over here. How very unreal. Unreal Engine, that is. Number one, keep going that way. What new contraption are we going to be introduced to here? Oh, what does that remind you of? Hello. I've got a little version, I've got a little version of you here. Inverter. Okay, red and blue then. So red inverts to blue. All right, that's easy. Does blue blue invert to red? Yeah. So I guess green's out of the equation, at least for the moment. So there's blue. All right, what's in here? Ah, the goal. Right, well, obviously this is not the right order of things then. Because we're going to need this. I wonder if it's going to introduce uh, the drills as well as this at some point. Wait, this is it? Or is it just like, here's your introduction to inverters? Oh, hold on. Yep, it's outputting blue, isn't it? Alright, so that's just kind of introduction. Spiky dudes. Those things in the Lagrange clouds, guys. That's what that is. I think about New Alexandria all the time. But realizing this place was built on its bones just brings it all back even more. We were so optimistic when we started. So full of ourselves. We thought we could accomplish anything. And then, in one single moment... It was gone. It was all gone. I remember a flash, and then just lying there, realizing that my legs had melted. I tried to pull myself away from the fire, but the servos in my arms were broken. If Eustathius hadn't found me... Sorry. Just some old scars. Energy maintenance. Mm, yeah, okay. Only option here. Grab the inverter. Output blue. Should I connect to that? I don't need to, do I? No. Right, you're outputting red. So I'll take your output and I'll put you here. No, because it doesn't invert. Wine. Go back in here a second. Okay. Is 
that coming from the power source? Ugh! Okay, so this has to be different then. So we go red to red. You can go there. Okay. Right. Power source in. Power source out. Keeps the door open. Yes, it does. But now... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, those underwater mines, the, the old style ones, I know the ones you mean. Way back in World War Two, one, two, two. Yeah. I haven't needed you, Prometheus, my child. Looks like three is over here. Huh? Oh, I looked at that arrow. <laughs> right. Okay. That's a big thing, isn't it? It is big and sparky. Looks like a cat. There and back again. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, there's a springboard thing in there for some strange reason. And we need to produce a green. Okay. Well, clearly the first thing to do is to get this door open and see what's there. Red power source anywhere? Interesting. Ah, okay. Clever. Maybe. I won't be able to get out in time, will I? Okay. Can it be done from here? Oh, you idiot! You should have gone out with it! <laughs> I'll just start again because I'm locked in. I knew what I was doing, I just needed to uh, come out with it. But yeah, okay. Arguably, we're supposed to learn from our mistakes. But... No, 
Okay. Ah. Problem. Damn it. Unless I can go further back. Because the thing is, okay, hold on. I need the blue power source, but I need. Okay, come here. It's just that this this inverter is in a bad spot. So I need to just disconnect it a little, so I need to move it somewhere else. What? Where the hell is it going to go? Where it doesn't... ...break the beam. That's going to be tight, man. Ah, but it's open all the time, so it can exist on the other side. Okay. No, 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 no. Here, 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 on this side. But don't interfere with the thing. Okay. Oh! Why? Because you're in... Oh, because that doesn't keep that door open. Okay. Actually, it does. I must have made a mistake there. Yeah. There you go. I was confused there. I thought didn't make sense that it, that it closed all right so now we need line of sight to the two things and that keeps that open so now oh boy now I've got a problem no I don't okay yeah because the blue stays open so the blue is keeping that gate open and we've got a power source off there and then obviously we're going to need to link to that to go into that. And that gets us an RGB. Which leads me to a question. Where's the goal? It's here. Right, so RGB needs the red output and the blue output. Beautiful. Red out. And now I need to connect to a blue out. Right. This is coming from, okay, all right, all right. I need a blue output. Red output plus blue output equals green output. an inverter. Right. So if I connect it here, 
it's going to invert it to red, which is, if I did that, I could also keep that door open. But I don't have the means to do the blue then. So, if we feed this a different colour, so we go inverter from red to blue, blue goes into this. So now we need a red power source, which will come from the thing. Okay. But... Okay. It's in your head, right, Rusty? Okay. It's in your head, right? You sure? You sure? Think about it. The only thing that gets red to red is that, and you need to keep that gate open. How the hell are you going to do it? Hmm? How? I need to get this connector over to this side, and then I can work it out. How do I go red to red on this? I just had it set up earlier. Okay. Oh. I had it set up where I had two items that were holding the door open. Blue on this side and red on this side. Direct connection. But I need... Is there any of these three devices that I can do without? No. Certainly I need that. And I'm definitely going to need that. How do I get the connector through here? I think, I think the solution is easy. If I can, once I get this connector, through that gate, I'm good. How do I keep the gate open? Well, I need a red beam. How do I make a red beam with an inverter? You can't. How do I make it with this? Well, I don't know if you can. Oh man. How did I just do it before? We started with a connector. The moment I picked this up. Oh, because we had... Okay. Because one of those devices was on the pad. Right, okay. Understood. Well, you're not being used right now, so come here. So, if you don't mind just taking over. Just for now. Okay, cool. No. That didn't make sense. That didn't make sense. It did in my head. Uh, blue goes to red. Switch off. You're putting me off. 
Blue inverts to red. I need to keep this gate open until I can find a way to keep this gate open. Red to red. The only thing that can do red to red is this guy. What am I missing here? Red to red. The inverter plus the RGB can't do it because we don't have a green input. But that's out. I think I need to start start this level again, just to make it make sense. The only thing. The only thing keeping this gate open is the pressure on the pad. But I need this on the other side. And nothing else that I have can make blue go to blue. So how the frippery does that work? This start this thing started life out here, didn't it? And I got it in there because I went red to red. But you can't go back. It's a one way street. I can take the connector in. But I can't bring it back out. So was there any other way of going blue to blue? And the answer is yes. For this guy. Or red to blue, I should say. We connect connect that to this and that makes a thing that makes a connection but in order to do that this guy has got to be on the it doesn't matter about this force field but this guy's got to be on that side of the wall or Okay, now we've re-established that connection. I can break this now, right? Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Now how the frick do I get you out? How do I get you out? I need you. Ah, can I do you from here? Right, you have got red input, blue output, red output, okay, that might be enough. Red output, no, put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. Oh, don't make the connection, right, okay. So this thing. Oh, will you drop? Thank you. Right, so we have blue output.
and red output. Cool. So this connects to there and there. Like that. But this guy connects to that and that and that. Did we get everything out? No, I don't think it was possible to get all the three things out. No, you're okay, Andy. I'll figure it out eventually. No, no hints, thanks. Yeah. I just had it in my head that we could get all three items out behind this gate. And we couldn't. Uh, but I, I knew I needed this one. So this one was able to do it, obviously. Green to blue. Just keeping a door open with one foot before you use the other foot. Somebody else is supposed to keep it open, basically. Thanks for the offer, but well done, one kid. Managed it in the end, so awesome. Whew. Certainly interesting. Definitely interesting. Tell you what, you need to have your bloody wits about you and be awake. Jeez. Number four. Refraction? Are you sure? You want me to bend? <coughs> yeah. When you put a spoon in a glass of water and it looks bent. Refraction, right? So, what spoon are we bending today? Can you stack them? Like, that's got a red output now. If I connect to that, I've got nothing to test it on. Oh yeah, I do. It recon yeah, it does. So blue output, this this inverts it to red, and then this inverter reinverts it back to blue again. Ha oh, ha ha ha! Now what? Oh! Oh wait a minute! Pick it up. If I connect to you, no, no. If I connect to you. And you, and you. Uh huh. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. Hold on. I've got a spaghetti junction going on here. Wait there. If I pick this up, that st stays open, right? does. It's keeping itself open now. So I'm just gonna... no, I want to reconnect. Yeah, it doesn't matter, Andy. It doesn't matter. I couldn't I couldn't work out how to do it so I'm happy to leave it at that. Right, so nothing in here which means well it means we do not connect to
bread input. But we don't need this anymore. Okay. Blue output to there gives me a red input. I'll do it again. So blue. No, okay, that's not what I want anyway. Blue gives me red to that guy. Okay. And then we pick this up and we go blue, red, red. Ah! Why are you blue? You should be red. Oh, blue, red, ah, wrong way around. <coughs> blue, red, blue. Connect, right? No, that's going to output red all the time. <laughs> You've been playing ahead of me, Andy. <laughs> well, look where you are. Blue. Blue. You can't do it without crossing the beams then. So blue out, red it, red in. be the other one then. How did we get it? Before, where, where, hold on. Yeah, so now you're going to watch me play, knowing all the solutions. Then, is that any good? I don't know. So anyway, how are we going to figure this out? Because. I need to be in that position again where I had one of these powering this gate open on its own. First thing we had to do was get that open and we did quite quickly. Oh, I mean But then this uh, you make no sense, a man. Okay, can I pick you up now? All right. No, it still doesn't work because the 
because the beams are going to get... Wait a minute. Red out. Red in, blue out. And now we can't open this. It'll give the right color to this guy. But now... That's emitting blue. Oh, I see what I should have done. Okay. All right. it up. I know what I needed to do. I don't think this is gonna... We needed to do that. It's not showing me the connections. Why? Because it won't frigging pick up. And we needed that one at the same time, I think. So clack, clack, and clack. Doesn't make sense, I know. Right, how did you manage to break the connections? This is the problem. If it keeps breaking connections, I can't proceed anywhere. Right, can I now take you off? Thank you. So, blue output will give me red output and you as well. Thank you. There was a connection there I didn't really want to do, but there you go. It still worked. The one I didn't need was the uh, the blue and the red going in, but one of them's ignored anyway. That blue going in, I didn't really need to do that. Oh, really? Well, they're never going to stop fighting, are they? What they live for. They don't know what living in peace is like. Mm. Yep, yeah, because America will get involved now. Yeah, just let everybody destroy themselves. Everybody's just, uh, oh, I don't know, I'm not going to get into it. Just keep electing the wrong people. Inside there. 
Huh? Why would you need a rosette inside there? How does that make sense? It is powered, isn't it? <laughs> so... Oh, I see. You're switching. That's a bit nasty then. Yeah, let's not discuss it on here, guys. It's just not the place. They won't be happy till they're all dead. If you instill, you know, if you instill uh, incorrect and wrong beliefs in people, then if they're stupid enough to believe it, you're going to get crap like this. And that's all I'm saying. This is clever. Blue, blue. If you take God out of the equation, none of this would have happened. It won't let me exist there. Anyway, I've said everything I'm going to say. Where did you come from? I've been staring at that and I didn't even bloody see it. Okay. Yeah. I thought, how can we do this with just a freaking inverter? It was right there, I didn't even see it. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, knowing that this is going to output a blue beam, we need to go and... No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Why have you got a white line drawn when I told you to deselect? reason for the rosette on the inside is because that's what t turns that force field off. Right, assuming all the lines work. Okay, 
So we need to find a way where the beams aren't getting crossed. And I don't think that's possible. Unless... You do this first and make it self-sufficient. Right. How do I get in there now? We can't. We've got to make it all happen at once. It's frustrating. We've got to make it all happen at once, so when we throw the switch, everything kicks off. Oh. When we throw the switch, this force field goes up, that one goes down, we get the blue. But we don't need the blue, do we? Because we've already got one, you see. already got one. Red out, red in, blue out. So blue out to blue. Done. Sometimes it's right in front of you. You've already sold it, and you don't even know. I sent the drone to have a look at one of the other puzzle clusters. It seems they remain inert until they're connected. I uploaded the pictures to the log. Should we check them out with the VTOL? Let's conserve fuel as much as we can. There's no point in going there if it's all dead. What pictures to the log? Oh, this. Hidden. Right. <laughs> what is? to do both of these to undo that force field so that you can what? Right, and goal is to get two items on the pad. Can't bring it through there. Can't bring it there, we've already got one item. And we can't bring it through there. Only here, force field. Remind me again. Red. Beams will go through. And we don't have light sight there. Oh, will you just friggin' drop? 
I didn't want it powered, but okay. Whatever. How does that help? What, what's that done for me? It's proven you can open the door. Woohoo! <coughs> in order to bring this in. Yeah. Except. You can't. Can you? You, you can't get two lines of sight at the same time. I need that one and that one. So, the only other way to get two line of sights is to move that to here. Because I can see you. And then, we can keep that gate open without using this, right? Because it's blue to red. We can place it here and it'll go ping ping. But we need line of sight. Do we? If I move that so it was getting power. Yeah, because I. Yes, because I can reconnect it here. And. So what if you can reconnect it there, Rusty? How does that help? Because the moment you disconnect it from here to drop it here, well, this is going to shut and not reopen. So how is that helping? All right. Got to concentrate then on dropping this force field. Does the blue do it on its own? I don't think so. This has to be opened first before we can get... Oh, yeah. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And there's no other color, color power output. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, uh, well, Am I right? Just judging by the way the power cables are, red and blue have to be lit up before you can open this force field, which then tells me that this force field is really important. And then we're going to need to use this ping. Can we ping from here? No. Oh dear. Right, so the goal is really just to get this guy inside here. That's it. And the only way to do it is through this force field. And the only way to keep the force field open is with a red beam. And a red beam can be done from a blue output with this. But we don't have direct line of sight on this side, but we do on this side. But this is also where the force field is. So how do we keep the force field open and move this at the same time? We can't. Oh, if this was positioned over there, we could. But to position it here, that force field needs to be open. What? Alright, so I guess the first thing then is to... Oh, bollocks. Bring this out.
Oh, you only need the red to do it? Well, okay. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think either, right? Either blue or red will open that force field. But if I disconnect this now, I'll still have my connections. All right, it works in my head, but that doesn't mean it's gonna work at all. No. That's probably an ideal position for it, for now. There's no way to power it. Yes, there is. If it takes any color, then it takes any color. Oh, that's... No! Oh, you can just go... Straight to hell. I think my I think my brain's burned out on this one. The problem is if you've done this before, it'll be frustrating watching while I work it out. Can't see it, can I? Out, red out. It won't go through the. Gr it won't go through the grill. It's 
too early to do this bit. But clearly to open this force field, to bring this through, that's going to need to be stood there. But before that, it needs to do something else. How do we do this without... Would it help if I was able to connect this now? Taken in blue from here. Uh, right, it's taking in blue from here, right? So we go there, we need to open the gate, and then we need to power from the blue. And then the moment we take him away, that beam turns blue. Or am I dreaming? Color are you? Oh bollocks. That's red. Oh, what am I thinking? Okay, I'm thinking we've kept that open. Oh, you little swine. I see what you're doing now. Can't take you through there. I can take you through there. But... I don't have sight from there. have sight from here. to serve a purpose. Now that stays open. Oh, that was bad move. Because when you do that, so that blue, blue powers blue. Oh, okay. 
This has to be positioned in a way where it can do that and still be in line of sight. Right? Oh, fuck that up. I don't know why the connections just... Come on. Okay. Now we've got six billion beams that we probably don't need. Well, think about positioning here. We have to have all three in sight. Bingo. You little shit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I get it in the end, but man. When all the other options have failed, whatever, whatever is left, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we needed the, the connector and that and that. And that thing needed to be emitting different colours that were only useful at different times. Depending whether we broke a beam or established it. Fiendish, fiendish, horrible little... How painful was that one, Andy? I mean, watching from a watching point of view. Oh, let's hold on. Yay! Give me a second, guys. That's me in the corner. Okay, so. Ah, two more. Can I survive? <laughs> I'm going to take these with me. Oh, man. That was fiendish. Absolutely. They rack your brain though, guys. They, the next two are real fun. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you, Andy. I know what that means. <laughs> uh, I know sometimes I can look at them and just go, you know, just give me 
two, three minutes to just suss it all out and then I can just go, yeah. And then some of them may be, may be easier than the previous one and, I, and I'm stumped. It's, my brain is wired a little bit weirdly that way, but yeah. Oh, you're here, okay. I'm not saying we have to collect anything. Oh, what? Right, we know we can we know we can go through purples. We know that. There's a power source here, right? Yeah. But Right, this one I'm not bothered about. So, red power outage turning to blue. No line of sight. Okay. Yeah, whoa, whoa, hold on a minute though. What's going to stand on here? Only me. The only thing that can stand on there is me. Temporarily. Until... There must be another. Right, the pad powers the force field. And when I said there must be another, I meant there must be another way of keeping it open. And there is. This. So... Okay. Where are you, Twitch? There you go. Okay. So I stand on here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me think. It still needs a power though. It still needs a it still needs power. I don't mind that being red for now, because the idea was that it would connect to a different power thing. It would open that that would be blue. It would open that, and then I would step off. And regardless of the force wheel closing, that would still stay blue. So how do we achieve that? Okay, keep the connections. Come over here. I know what this is. This is one of those keep the gate open self-sufficiently with this, but at the same time... Oh, you can't, but it's not possible. Is it? Can we get line of sight to that, and that, and that while it's on the pad? Uh, I'll bet you, I'll bet you we can't. No way. That would be too easy. But okay. So if you have blue going to blue... That's going to turn red because this is an inverter. <coughs> but if you put another one in the line, you 
connect it to okay you'd be mistake if you connect it to that yeah you're not doing you're not doing a very good job are you that and that yeah, that's all I need you to do for now see how this works because the connections are being not made I can't tell what the freaks happening now red turns to blue blue turns to red oh okay I see the error of my ways. Yeah, ridiculous price for a game. Taking the piss. Right, that's coming from a blue output. And I don't think I want that, do I? Powers the blue, which powers the gate. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right, you keep your connection. I have to think of it methodically. Right, so I need you exactly what you're doing. You connect to you, but also... You have to connect to you at the same time. And you'll perform one function for one second, and when the force field opened, you'll perform the second function. You bastard. <laughs> okay, so you will initially then have a red beam to open the force field, by which time the blue power source will hit you, convert you to... Oh, fuck. Just stand on it anyway. It is red. Ah! I need another. That that force field's not open now, right? Or is it? It might be. Let's disconnect this, see what happens. Are you still open? Okay. If I go from there to there, stand on this, and then come off it, you're going to stay open. So I can... I can what? Right, we got blue out. Well, that's it then. Can I disconnect this and keep the force field open? I don't think so, right? No, because it's going to convert to red. Because if I could, I only need to position this out here connect it from here to here and I can't make oh
Was it possible to put the other one over there? Here and get all the sight that I need? No, it's not. Okay. Go on here again. Yeah. No line. So this is this is keeping this open so I can have a blue power source. But I don't need a blue power source because I can get one on the other side. But that is only getting blue output because of this one. This is it. This is getting blue in, red out, going to this guy, which is then going blue out. See? Block the beam. Block the beam, no problem. And I can block either of these. Actually, no. Yeah, we lose it. I am. I'm stuck. Literally stuck. I couldn't get back out. There's no no win situation there. Making sure there's no hidden tools. Uh, right. It's all really about positioning, isn't it? If we think... I don't think this one is what should be responsible for keeping this gate open. But, we need both of them to do it. Uh, red goes to... Red will turn to blue, blue will turn back to red. Okay, red will turn to blue, blue will turn to red, and then with red... The only thing I can do is open that force field. Right? Is there anything I can reach from there? What now? What connection's not made? Oh, okay. Okay, that's now opened the gate. And that has produced the blue emitter. The blue emitter can now be kept open constantly by the red, by plugging it into the red. But now we can't have a, bl a red beam coming off this at any point, it has to stay blue.
so. That means we need to connect that to that. Why did you drop on the floor? Right, that blue connects to that red and keeps the door open. But it can't connect to here. So it's going to go blue, red, and it's going to output a red beam over here. Which, when converted, can go to blue. doesn't work because I need the red power source and I can't get the red power source and connect to this unless I reposition this probably. It doesn't mean that I can't connect to it now though. And now we've got a cross beam. So yeah, it's not annoying at all. Give me a sec, guys. Right, remind me what's going on. Blew out. Sorry, yeah, blue out to there, coming into there, that's going to emit red. Oh. Why do, why, why, why do you have to keep the connection? Stop it. This might seem a bit silly, but I'm going to connect both. Take it. I'm impressed. So am I. Right. What the hell did I do? <laughs> I just needed to power up both. Blue was coming out, so red going back to there to keep the door open, but it was also coming out to whatever was going to connect to it, and then it was going to return blue. Why, why is that so easy, and why didn't I figure that out sooner? Right guys, I know there's only one puzzle left, but there's also two of these, so effectively there's three puzzles left. So 
if I just don't do this one right now, I'm actually, it's three that I'm not doing, not just the one. So guys, I'm going to leave it here because I have something uh, to take care of. Something came up. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get that done. Uh, and we'll pick this up in part three. And Elite Dangerous, I thought he was having a wee. And Elite Dangerous, I think, tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Oh, awesome. It's, it's a puzzly one. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. Um, we'll do this again. I, there's going to be quite a few of these because there's quite a lot of puzzles. Um, but yeah, we'll pick it up. We'll do the eighth one and the other. If I've got time in the next stream, we'll do the eighth one on here and the other two missing, the lost ones. And then we'll get to East 4 and we'll see if we can whip through all, all of it. All of East 4. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much. I'll catch you next time. Until then, I'm going to update the credits but to be by in time for tomorrow. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to do it today because I've been using the video editor to do other stuff. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.